My name is Billy Flynn. I'm an F-35 test pilot for Lockheed Martin. I fly all three variants of the F-35. I first flew the F-18 more than 32 years ago. I've flown the F-16 and the Eurofighter Typhoon as a test pilot. Uh, those were fourth generation legacy aircraft. The F-35 is a fifth generation fighter. Fifth generation to me means stealth and it means sensor fusion. So stealth is not invisibility, it's not Harry Potter in the cloak of invisibility, but it is so difficult to see that I come and go with absolute impunity. No one ever knew that we were there, whether we are, are attacking things in the air or on the ground. Sensor fusion, which is what we're going to talk about here in the cockpit, is taking information from multiple sensors across a number of spectrums and presenting that information to the pilot in a simple, sophisticated, elegant fashion. And I get vast amounts of data that's crunched by computers powered by 8.6 million lines of software code. And those, that processing from my computer synthesizes all the data and gives me knowledge or information. It's presented to me in two iPad type displays using touch screen technology, much like we have in iPhones, iPads that we all love at home. Uh, and it gives it to me in the simplest, most elegant fashion possible. I see so much more information that was than was possible in a fourth generation legacy fighters, like I said, F-18, F-16 Typhoon. I see so much more, and I can do so much more now in my single F-35 or in my formation of F-35s. I power this aircraft by voice recognition, much the same as we have in the uh, iPhones that we all love. It's the same computer that runs Siri in our iPhones is what we use in the F-35. And I see, I see from the screens, but I also see in a display presented in the helmet mounted display that I wear every day in the F-35. Two cameras give me image across a screen in front of my face that shows all the important information to fly. How in the, in the presentation it's how fast am I going, how high am I, what's my heading, where am I heading to, navigation type information. But I get images from six mid-wave infrared cameras that are embedded in the skin of the airplane. So mid-wave IR, which means hot and cold contrast, present my, these cameras present that image on my display. And wherever I look, on the outside here or through the skin of the airplane, I see what's on the ground, over the water, and in the air. And that feeds all back into me in, in what, how I look, what I see, as if the skin of the airplane was not present. It's not only fun and geeky and, and interesting, it makes me dramatically more lethal and survivable. I see from horizon to horizon anything of contrast from the ambient temperatures that are out there. I see objects in the air that would never have been visible otherwise. I see objects over the sea or over the cold Arctic surface that no one ever knew was there. All of this in my workspace, where my workspace again is two iPads, Siri voice recognition, and a helmet like Tony Stark in the Iron Man movies. That's how I work day to day. This cockpit is incredibly simple for the human. There are less than 20 switches to touch, different than the fighter cockpits of old, because I want the human to worry about this information that I give him in front of him. That's what I concentrate on. It's an easy aircraft to fly. The F-35 is the easiest airplane to fly of the more than 80 that I have flown in my career. The pilot's task is not flying the jet anymore. His task is to go up and be lethal, be effective in, in combat.